WFNZ Sports First, presented by Budweiser. Hey, good evening and half a day. Today, all about the Matau. The Guam national soccer team is out in Harmon taking on Oman for first place in Group D of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. GFA held a press conference yesterday. PNC Sports first was there, and we were able to talk to Coach Gary White about what his team has to do coming off a loss and a short travel schedule to succeed. Coach. We had a long trip to think about the game uh, and discuss the game, but you know we have a sports science uh, group now that has been working on the recovery and rehab for the players, um, regenerating them, and uh, they've they've done the best they can with a short period of time and the turnaround. Uh, and but it's the same for Oman. It's not just us. You know they've played a game and had to travel too. So uh, it's just very tough for every team uh, in how AFC have set up the the qualification with the limited time between games. Uh, it may work in Europe. But in Asia, it's such a big continent that right. I think we need to relook at how many days rest there is between games, just just in terms for the quality of the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, because obviously, if players are tired, it's not going to be at the same level. But you know, it's the same for all teams, and we're prepared as best as we can. Uh, we've had great support from the federation in Guam uh, and the people of Guam, so you know, we're happy to be at home. I think being at home is going to give us an extra boost uh, that maybe we wouldn't have got if we were away for this for this next game. Thanks to Coach Gary White yet again. Moving right along to a crucial battle in the NL East. Only about a month left of baseball. This is when it counts. Our stroll through Major League Alley takes us to the nation's capital for some Labor Day baseball. Nats, Mets, bottom of the fourth. Nats down 3 0. Bases loaded. Wilson Ramos. And yeah, you guessed it. Grand slam. He belted that one deep to left field. That clears the bases. Nats looking good. They're up 1. 13th of the year for Ramos. Take your bow, son. Jonathan Neese. Yeah, he's not happy. Gives up five runs in four innings. He's pulled. That's what happens when you play bad. Top of the seventh now. Game tied at 5-2 on for David Wright, who hits a base hit. Oh, through the glove of the shortstop, Ruben Tejada. He's rounding the bases, trying to score the throw home. Oh, no, Escobar can't hang on. Tejada called safe. Mets take a one-run lead later in the inning. Jonas Cepeda at the dish. He singles to right field. Nice hit. That takes a Mets-friendly bounce right off the scoreboard there. Right on his horse, he's hustling home. The throw, it's not in time. He's called safe. One more look, because it was oh so sweet. Check it out, it's close. Sliding in on the outside corner, gets the base. There's the tag, just a little too late. Mets get another one, and they win in D.C. on Labor Day. Eight to five for the final. That's our stroll through Major League Alley, and that'll wrap up PNC Sports first for me, Blake Watson. Until tomorrow night, I'll see you at the game. PNC Sports First, presented by Budweiser.